And I told coach when we came out from the timeout before the possession, I said, just give me the ball and I'll end the game. Shy, you got to get the ball to Burton here. I, I still think Pulley it's going to be tough Pulley on my Her coach. first main field goal of the game comes with 30 seconds to play and Northwestern has the lead. I'm Emily Eamon here with Lindsay Pulliam from the women's basketball team. Lindsay, you rank in the top 25 in points for scoring in the NCAA. You're top three in the Big Ten for scoring. You're recently nominated for the 2020 Ann Myers Drysdale Award for the nation's top guard. You have all these incredible honors and ranks, but where do you see yourself at the end of the season? What are yeah. your personal goals? Um, I mean, I think for me it's just doing whatever I can every game to help my team win and whatever that is, whether it be 20 points or 30 points or maybe even 10, just doing whatever I can to win and hopefully, you know, the individual accolades will come with that. So during Sunday's game against Nebraska, you hit yeah. an incredibly clutch shot. But before that, you were 0-11 yeah. from the floor. Can you kind of talk about what was going through your head? your teammates and coaches had all this trust in you yep. even though the game wasn't exactly going how you yeah. wanted it. I think for me a big thing is just thinking that every shot is going to go in. So whether I go 0 for 10 or 5 for 5, it doesn't matter. Just knowing that the shots that I've practiced are going to go in eventually. And like coach and my teammates kept telling me, like, keep shooting the ball. And I told coach when we came out from the timeout before the possession, I said, just give me the ball and I'll end the game. And it, it happened to work out that worked, way. Worked yeah. Out really well. yeah. <laughs> So you were named a captain of this team. Yeah. You were a captain as well last year. Do you think now, being an upperclassman on this team, do you think it kind of has changed the way that you're leading, or has it stayed the same throughout your years? Um, I think a big thing for me is just making sure I'm always doing the right thing and setting an example and kind of just pushing my teammates to be better every day and just making sure that I'm always doing what I need to do. So I think it has grown from last year and in terms of being more vocal and um, I guess just trying to help my teammates out. But for the most part, it's been pretty much the, my same role. Would you consider yourself a more vocal player? Have you had to kind of push outside your comfort zone and become more vocal? Um, not necessarily. I'm a pretty vocal person when it comes to basketball. Um, I saw I'm that pretty. That last second yeah. Shot. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, my teammates would say I'm pretty loud, and my coaches would probably say I'm loud. So it hasn't really been too much of getting out of my comfort zone. So being vocal usually isn't a problem for me. Yeah. So you guys currently have one of the best defenses in the conference yeah. and it's top 25 in the nation. How has that played into the success that you've had this season? Yeah, I think it's something that we pride ourselves on and we have people, individual players on our team that really pride themselves on defense like Veronica, Sid, Jordan, and obviously just one through 15, we really pride ourselves on doing that and that's kind of what uh, creates, our, creates our offense. So it's, it's definitely a big part of our identity and it makes us a lot better all overall. With Big Ten play winding down, you have NCAAs right around the corner. I assume you guys yeah. are probably safe to say you're dancing <laughs> this year. Yeah. Um, so what is your mindset going into the postseason? Is it different than it is now with yeah. the last few games of Big Ten? I don't think it's different, honestly. I think our focus stays the same, and we've said it all year. It's not who we play, it's how we play. So just more so focusing on us and learning how we can get better. And obviously we have to finish out these four games in the regular season and then try and focus on the Big Ten tournament and then obviously hopefully the NCAA tournament. So just taking it game by game and uh, just getting better every day. I've been to a few of your games, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I see a bunch of your male athlete friends yeah. in the stands. What does their support kind of mean to the team? I mean, they're cheering every yep. game, every minute, every yeah. second of every game. What does that mean to you guys? I mean, it means the world to us, and it makes us better, and it obviously gives us a laugh during the game, too, when you hear, yeah, exactly, when you hear some of the things that they say. So it obviously it means the world, and it makes us better, and it wants us makes us want to push further um, every time that they come to our games. I've seen you guys' team's dance moves as well yeah. before <laughs> games, during warm-ups, during yeah. games. I've obviously <laughs> seen the mysterious ticking noise TikTok. Yeah. What do you guys have planned next? Um, I don't know. It could be another TikTok coming soon in the future. Viral, but we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Bird usually leads all that, so we'll try and we'll see what's coming next for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Lindsay, for being here. Yeah. You can catch Lindsay and the rest of the Wildcat team this weekend yeah. at Wisconsin.